OMG, oh my Uncle Sam just dropped rates in the first four years by 0.25%. Let's break it down. Very interesting guys, so I tabulated the data from all different countries that dropped rates before the US. For example, Eurozone by 0.25% from 4%. Australia didn't do nothing, fuck all, fuck Australia. Then go to New Zealand by 0.25 in June 2024. Then August 2024 was Canada. Then Chile, July 2024 by 1%. Whew. And then 0.5 in August by 2024, Brazil. Then the US, bang, the Uncle Sam today, old mate dropped 0.25% in September. So think about this guys, right? So basically COVID hit us, unexpected, boom, lockdown, right? Post COVID, you know, they call it quantitative easing, which is basically stimulus package, giving free cash out, right? Which then hiked up the cost of goods, inflation, boom. Now ignoring like Chile and Brazil because they're like poverty country, right? Like let's look at US. It took them four years to realize, oh, inflation's coming down, let's cut rates. And then look at uh, Canada, also four years. And New Zealand, faster than us, three years, even faster than Uncle Sam, three years, they cut rates. And you see the no drop since hikes, that's bloody old mate Aussie kangaroo Australia. Now mind you, I'm not bagging out Australia, I live in Australia, Sydney, okay? I'm bagging out the RBA, Michelle Bullock, sister of Julia Bullocks. This Malacca over here, right? Like, oops, I just dropped rates 13 times. Bitch, you need to drop rates now. If I know anything about the Australian government and Australian politics and Australian RBA central banking, is that Australia is copycats. They run a copycat system. They look around and go, ooh, they're dropping rates. They're dropping rates. Oh, mate, Uncle Sam is dropping rates. Woo hoo, 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 laptop. We are gonna drop rates very soon, guys. Now, you don't need to be an industry insider like myself, mortgage broker for the last 15 years to sniff out there some smelly shit going on with the banks. Why are some banks cutting interest rates from term deposits and home loans when the Reserve Bank isn't. Why the fuck is Westpac cutting fixed rates across the board? I mean, rates around 5.59, three years fixed rate, when like maybe eight months ago, it was like 6.89. Something's fishy and looking at the behavior across all banks who are dropping their rates without the RBA announcing a rate cut, there is something in the air that the RBA is gonna follow soon from these examples of countries that dropped rates. This is interesting times, guys, because it means when they do drop rates, the market is gonna get fucking crazy. If you're still sitting on your fucking ass waiting for rates to drop to then buy property, <laughs> you're fucking late, right? Everybody right now, my clients are buying property right now before the rate cut so they can buy at a okay price so that when the rates do drop, everyone rushes in like, oh, I wanna get the piece of that pie. That property they bought three to six months ago, like many of my clients, would rise and you guys will buy the pig sucked in.